Guess what time it is? Guess what time it is, my love? Winnie. It's intro time. It's time for you to shine and say hi to everybody, Fred. Yes, we call her Fred. Fred is actually the root of Winifred. <laughs> and we came up with Winifred because I think we were trying to come up with an alternative for Winnie and we were just throwing names out there and Winifred came up. And so we actually called her Winifred for a while. She responds to Winnie, but then we were calling her Winifred and then it just came to Fred and now she responds to Winnie and Fred. And now she's on her belly because she loves her belly rubbed. She is that happy of a dog that she rolls over on her back all the time and exposes this sweet, fluffy belly of hers. Right now though, she is looking a little rough. It has been three weeks since she's had a bath. It's been a week since I combed her out, which is not good not combing out fur that is, well, she doesn't have fur, she has hair. And so um, that's why she doesn't shed, but she's got a huge mat right here. And yeah, that's gonna take a minute to get out. But I think she's gonna get a brush down tonight. So yeah, look at, I have to show, show them. These are Valentine's Day milk bones and they're just like, the sweetheart candies for adults, only these are not candies. And they say like, love you, kiss me. What if it's not even focused? XO, XO. Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have to make her do something. Yeah, she's laying down, look at her. <laughs> We're not ruining her, I swear. Here, Our yeah, ball. so. <laughs> give us a really hard time as much as you all like us showing Winnie I'll tell you now people give us a really hard time and they tell us that by talking to her the way we do that we're ruining our dog and I say that this is how we want our dog to be and she couldn't be more perfect for us but look at so these are the containers at Dollar Tree in the pet section and the dog the Valentine's Day dog treats came in a huge container so I went to Dollar Tree and I got two of these and um, I filled one up for Ibiza and so my son's dog. And so here, get up. See, I'm gonna bribe her now. Winnie, get up. Come on. No, get up. It's because she's comfortable. There she goes. Hi. Hi, say hi to everybody. What? Say hi everybody, look right there. Say hi everybody. Okay, look, shake. Winnie. Oh, you're trying, huh? Let's see. Okay, sit up. Shake. Oh, thank you. Winnie, high five. Thank you. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? <laughs> okay, Winnie, lay down. Thank you. There you go. We've all seen these before, right? This is a wood plank that you can get at just about any hardware store for about $1.97. Well, between $1.97 and $3, depending on the grade of wood you want. I went with the low grade of wood because I don't mind doing some DIYing and actually sanding the wood to get those splinters off and smooth it out. I can't wait to show you what I do with this wood plank that you are absolutely gonna love that has an outcome that is so rustic, I can hardly stand it. back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose, yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you a rustic DIY that you are absolutely gonna love using that wood fence picket 
This is such a budget-friendly DIY. It's quick, it's easy, and the outcome, did I say, is rustic and amazing. I can't wait to show you what I do with this wood picket. Wood picket? Wood plank. Wood fence plank. I don't know, somebody's gonna correct me in the comments, but hey, this piece of wood, this is one you're not gonna wanna miss. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some budget-friendly rustic DIYing, because that's what I do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so getting started, I went ahead and cut my fence piece into three 18 inch pieces. I've got a miter saw that I love to use. So whenever I have the opportunity to use it, I use it. If you buy the cheaper fence, you're gonna need to sand it because it does have a bit of splinters. You'll see that this wood, it's two different colors on each side. This back side has more of a yellow tone to it, so this is gonna be the back side. Now taking three of Dollar Tree's wood slats, these are the eight inch pieces. You're gonna need three of them and some wood glue. This is a wood glue that I picked up at Lowe's. It was only $3 and it's a nice size bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and place some of this wood glue on the back of these slats. Now fear not, I am going to reinforce this once these wood slats are dry. This really is just to kind of keep these in place and give me a piece of wood to drill into. Oh yeah, and I did place some masking tape on the slats just to keep them from moving. Now it's time to do some drilling. I'm gonna use some screws, got eight of them, and I got them out of this bracket pack from Dollar Tree. They're right there in this pack. Why not? I was there, picked them up. I'm gonna put three screws in each slat just to reinforce this and really keep it in place. You will see that that first slat cracked. That is because I drilled a little bit too fast and too hard, so just take your time. I went digging into my wood scraps, found this one by four. You're gonna need three pieces. This first one measures out at three and a quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. This next piece is gonna measure out at four inches by two and three quarter inches. And this last piece is going to measure out at a whopping two inches by two and three quarter inches. If you're buying your wood at Lowe's and Home Depot, don't forget that you can have your wood cut and you're gonna get the first cuts done for free. And then I wanna say that they charge you 50 cents per cut thereafter, which is still very budget friendly if you're somebody who doesn't have a saw. Don't forget, Dollar Tree's got a couple of saws that'll saw right through this wood. It's gonna take a little bit of work, but you know what? It's gonna get the job done. For the placement of these wood pieces, I'm gonna kind of use the 18 inch slats as a guide. And on the second slat or piece, I'm gonna measure down one and a quarter inches from I guess that seam line where those two slats meet. And that's where I'm gonna place those wood pieces. I am, I'm actually doing some measuring. And I'm gonna use a pencil just so I can erase it. But you know, this needs to be right on. And so some measuring is needed. I hate measuring. I try not to do it if I can get away with it, but I really want this one to turn out right. So I am going to go and take that extra step and do some mm -hmm, measuring. And again, going in with some wood glue, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the three and a quarter inch side. That's what side, because we want all of these to be two and three quarters tall. And so the measurement of three and a quarter goes first, and I'm gonna place it right on my pencil marks and this is going to be even. The second piece is going to be the four inch piece and the third piece is going to be the two inch piece. Now I am not gonna go back in with some screws on the back side to reinforce these pieces. If you want to, you can. I I'm pretty happy with some wood glue and so I think it's gonna be just fine. Wine glasses aren't all that heavy. I did the reinforcing where I felt like I needed it on the three slats themselves, and so I think we're gonna be good. Some cup hooks are also needed for this DIY, one and a quarter inch ones to be exact. They're a bit on the bigger side. Starting on that second slat, centering these hooks in between that last piece of wood that's holding the wine glass up and the edge of the wood, you're gonna center your cup holder, and I'm going about an 
I wanna say a quarter of an inch or a half an inch down from the seam from the top slat. Oh my word, I'm totally making this confusing. But I'm gonna go ahead and place my hooks just like so. I'm gonna put my coffee cup on this hook so that way I can space the bottom hook where I need it to be. When I went to Lowe's, I tell you, I only spent $4 on the wood and the cup holders. Working with wood is so budget friendly and I absolutely love working with wood because you can make some amazing DIYs with it. To stain this wood, I'm going to be using again some of this Old English. This is a scratch cover for dark woods. It is the perfect color stain for me. I had some from my last DIY and I thought, you know what, since this is going to be a new decor piece in my house, I want it to match all my wood. So I'm gonna go with this dark walnut wood. This isn't a stain, this really is just a scratch cover, but it really works as a stain. It dries odor free and it dries quicker than regular stain. And so since the color is right for me, it's a great alternative to, yes, stain. So using a paintbrush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my piece. My word, I tell you, I never get sick of the dark woods. This looks amazing. For this DIY, Linda and I came up with an embellishment, how to tell time, AM and PM. This is a vinyl decal that is available in Linda's Etsy store for instant digital download for the bargain price of $2. So if you have a Cricut, you're gonna buy this option, download it to your computer, upload it to Cricut Design Space, and cut it out with some Dollar Tree vinyl. If you don't have a Cricut and you wanna do this DIY and you want the decal, you can have Linda cut and send it to you with free shipping for the bargain price of $5. Guess where you can find the link to Linda's Etsy store? Yes, in the description box below. Now, because I'm a rustic girl and I went with that darker wood finished, I went ahead and cut my decal out using white vinyl. Linda's making this decal available in white or black because this is a versatile DIY. It can really be done to suit any decor style. So if you wanted to go with that whitewash wood, you could get your decal in black vinyl. That's what's great about a DIY like this is that I am really just bringing to you the idea of the DIY. It really is up to you to take what you like, leave what you don't, and get creative and make it your own. That's really what DIYing is all about. And in these areas here, right above the hooks, I put AM, and right above these wood pieces, I put PM. Now, don't forget, Dollar Tree has poster board letters that are amazing. They come in several different fonts. You can paint these with acrylic paint or chalk paint. If you don't wanna paint them, you can pick up some stickers in any font that you want. These are great alternatives if you don't wanna buy the decal and you don't have a Cricut. To hang this piece, I'm keeping it simple. On the back side of this, I have this scrap piece of wood that I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere to the top here using some wood glue. I may go in with some screws and reinforce it, but I have found that this wood glue is like cement once it dries, and so I'm pretty confident that this is gonna hold up just fine. Now all that's left to do is just to put our glasses in place and our piece is complete. Look at what a fun piece this is. I love this. Let's go take a look at it. I gotta take some fun pictures of it. Let's go look. My Kayla girl's uploading today and she's trying out a new setup for her bullet planner for the weekly planner. This is for the month of February. This is great for beginners. So if you've always wanted to try and do your own bullet journal, you should follow along with Kayla. You can find the link to today's video, guess where? In the description box below. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Delilah Morales, who is bringing to us her recreation of my cinnamon roll wreath. Delilah, you did an amazing job on it. I bet your family absolutely loved this. Thank you so much for sharing your cinnamon roll wreath creation with us today. How easy is that? Quick, easy, budget friendly, and the outcome is amazing. I love this piece, and this is definitely a piece that's going up in my kitchen. I hope you all enjoyed today's rustic wood, wood, rustic, rustic wood DIY. Yes, this is, I'm 
gonna call it kitchen decor. Why not? It could be anywhere decor, but I'm gonna call it kitchen decor because of the glasses. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am.